Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at Windows Longhorn build 4008. Now if you haven't already, I suggest you take a look at some of the previous videos in this series. As you can see, what has changed since the last build and what has stayed the same. I hope you all enjoy this video very much and let's begin. So after attempting to install this build the first time, I noticed that I got a blue screen of death. And the reason was, is because when I was setting the machine up, I set it as Windows Vista. This is because in Wimver, it says that the kernel version is version 6.0. So I assumed that it was going to be Windows Vista in the OS selection menu or VirtualBox. But I was wrong. So if you want to install this in VirtualBox at home, uh, then I suggest, well, it's pretty much essential that um, you select it as Windows XP, even though it's sort of closest to Vista. Um, but that is how I made it work in the end anyway. Right, so the first thing that you'll notice here is that this is very different from all previous builds of Windows Longhorn, and it is well, it's been completely changed from the Windows XP setup process. Now, as we knew in Windows XP, it still had that MS-DOS style setup, but here it's all sort of slightly more refined and it's modern and you've got a mouse. Um, and I like it really. I mean, this was three years, remember, before the eventual release of Windows Vista. And at this stage, they had already, in February 2003, they had already um, thought up of this all new setup process and it is fundamentally unchanged today really. Um, they, I mean they've obviously made quite a few refinements to it and they did before the release of Vista but ever since then even in Windows 10 it still had a very modern looking like this out of box experience. It just doesn't really age I suppose. So anyway. Um, Let's wait for this to install now. I'll just select that. Notice this as well. If you remember in XP how long it took to format a hard drive on a real computer, you were sitting there for what felt like days. But on this, you just press it and then it does it. That's like what it did in Vista 7 and all versions afterwards. Now, some features about this build that you may find interesting. It was the first leaked Milestone 4 build and nearly all traces of Windows XP had been removed by this point, apart from, most notably, the boot screen, which was still displayed as Windows XP. In, in Wimver, the copyright date was set to 2006. Now I'm going to pick up on this point later because this is important. Um, and most of setup, including WinPE, that's the Windows pre-installation environment, was carried over from build 4001. So remember that Obviously, all this out-of-box setup, this wasn't essentially made in this build, it was done in a previous build, just before this was leaked. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's changed quite a bit, and they find out a few bugs in it anyway. Now, last two bits, it was one of the first builds to have major changes to the Windows XP NT 5.1 codebase. And Internet Explorer 6.05 was included in this build, which was basically just an update to 6.0 that was included in Windows XP and Server 2003. And going back on my previous point about the major changes to the NT 5.1 codebase, if you look in Winver on this build, you'll notice it says version 6.0. Now, I believe this was the actual version that was in Windows Vista. So this is yet another thing that they've majorly changed. And as I mentioned at the beginning, when I was mentioning about the blue screens of death, I installed this on an, a real machine to begin with. And when I saw that, I thought, oh, well, in VirtualBox, it will be Windows Vista because that is Vista's kernel version. But for whatever reason, it wants to be set to Windows XP. So it so suit itself. Anyway, let's move on to the next bit. And one final thing before we boot this build up, as you can see, it's got a new out-of-box experience. Um, 
with some of the text is pretty much identical to the Windows XP out of box experience text. Uh, however, it's had a user interface overhaul, as you can see. And um, I mean, it is quite basic on the name and the new account option. It won't like, I mean, it only allows a certain amount of characters, but if you go above that, it won't notify you that you've gone above that. You could name your, well, you could put in Blooming Grey's Anatomy into there and it, would st it wouldn't tell you that your name is too long. It just won't create the account. Um, so you have to manually shorten that down. So let's boot this build up now. Right, so after installing that build-in virtual box, I began, I began running into a few issues with it, primarily surrounding its resolution and the fact that it was very buggy with its mouse. So I've ended up installing this onto an actual physical machine. This is the Dell Latitude D610, and we used this for the previous build as well. Um, so one thing I was quite curious about was the fact that DCE wasn't included in this build, in VirtualBox anyway, so I thought maybe it would be included on a real computer, but, well, for whatever reason, um, it's not in this build at all. I mean, it could be under the hood, I suppose, but, to be honest, it doesn't matter that much. I mean, it's it appears on in later builds anyway, so that doesn't matter. And another thing, as I said in the setup process, uh, Winver, if I zoom in slightly more, just so you can make that out. No, maybe not. Um, but anyway, over here, we've got the copyright date of 1985 to 2006, 2006. So I suppose this build was compiled in 2003, February of 2003. And the fact that they were thinking this far ahead shows that they already knew that this was gonna be well this is going to take so much effort to get right and well they were right um, but anyway I suppose it's good that they had an accurate prediction um, and there's not really much else I can show you on this build apart from the fact that obviously it hasn't well it's pretty much erased all uh, mentions of Windows XP apart from, most notably, as I said earlier, the boot screen, which still has the Windows XP Professional logo um, as the boot screen. Um, but in the next build, that is removed and it's replaced with a sort of primitive Windows Longhorn boot screen. So, that pretty much rounds it up for today's video. Um, I do hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then please feel free to look at the other videos on my channel or subscribe to my channel, as this just gives me a bit more motivation to make future videos. So, until next time, I hope you enjoy your day, morning, evening or night, and goodbye.